Hashtag carve your own path. I see it on your hat there. You do. What does that mean? It means New Era made this limited edition hat for us that says CYOP, mm -hmm. carve your own path, which is basically our mantra here at Crown Heads because we've always felt, or I should say, you know, since the get-go, this has always been more than just about cigars. This has been about aspirational branding, about aspiring to something bigger, about creating your own destiny. Or as our customers would say, how does a guy that has some corporate background, background and a guy with uh, tattoos everywhere that looks like a nonconformist end up owning a small business? We carve our own path. We set out to do it a different way. Correct. We set to uh, the man, so to speak, Yep. and we're doing our own little thing here. And having a good time doing it. We do look for inspiration from other people that have done similar things. True. And we have a little bit on one of those guys today, and or and people, the, and this, companies. This today. particular inspiration comes from outside of our industry, but uh, it's kind of six degrees of separation because it kind of pairs well with what we do. No question, and they're a small <coughs> company from Tennessee, yes. so there are definitely parallels there. Correct. Take a look at the guys at Greenbrier. Growing up, we didn't know about the distillery. We just knew the story of our family coming over from Germany, but you know, we weren't sure if we really even believed that story. Uh, about 11 years ago, our dad went in with three of his buddies to buy a cow worth of meat from a butcher, and he invited us to go with him. And on our way to this butcher, we're running low on fuel. We stopped to fill up, and at the gas station, there was this historical marker it said Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery, one mile east on Long Branch Road. Charles Nelson opened the Greenbrier Distillery. We're like, holy crap, that's crazy. What is this? We, all, we go on to the butcher who happened to live a mile east, asked him if he knew anything about the old distillery. He showed us across the street where there's this old barrel warehouse still standing, the original spring still running. We drank from the spring. And then he sent us to this nearby historical society where there were two original bottles with our name on it. And just like every hair on my body stood up. Andy and I looked at each other. We were just like, man, this is what we're here to do. So Bellmead Bourbon is historic brand and one that Charles Nelson produced a hundred years ago before the start of the Civil War in 1858 moved to Nashville started a wholesale grocery business where he was one of the first to bottle and sell whiskey realized the demand far exceeded his supply bought the distillery that was producing his whiskey he grew to become one of the largest in the country until 1909 when statewide prohibition hit Tennessee forcing them to close their doors. We didn't have enough money to build out our distillery up front and buy all the equipment, so we put up literally everything that we own to personally guarantee a loan to get started. Once we saw those original bottles, you know, it, something sort of clicked in me where it was like, wow, you know, not only are these beautiful bottles with our family name on them and everything, and, and you know, this is just an amazing, beautiful thing, but like, I could travel around the world and, and share our family history with people. You know, when we each discovered it, it was, it was different for each of us. I mean, we were at different stages. I was a year out of college. Charlie still had a semester left. And, uh, both of us had studied and were, were still studying uh, philosophy. And, and then, you know, when, when we discovered this history of the distillery, it was, it was just, it was life-changing um, in, in a pretty major way. Uh, and it was pretty much just a quick moment where we knew, all right, here's, here's where we're going now. Things like bourbon and uh, you know fine cigar or fine wine, 
Um, they inspire me and they inspire others, I think, to really go the extra mile and to want to really reward yourself for the hard work that you've put in. And I, I think that those are the finer things in life are what make life worth living and, and really um, you know, doing what you love so that you can reward yourself with those, those fine things. Something to look forward to and, and just having something out there that makes you want to work hard and really achieve that extra thing and go the extra mile to really get there. And, and you know, it's, it's these things that take time. A bourbon or a wine or a cigar, like, those aren't easy things to make, you know. And hopefully it inspires them to find their calling and find what they really want to do in life.